Alright, this video is about the program outline of the physician assistant profession, the first semester of the first year. And this is actually the outline of the University of Cape Coast. So to begin with, there are two types of courses that you want to take as a PA student in a university. First, we got departmental courses, and second, we got general courses. The departmental courses are human anatomy, human physiology, basic nursing, medical sociology, and biochemistry. The general courses are communication skills, African studies, and information technology skills, ITS. So the departmental and the general courses. The departmental courses are the courses you are required to study for your profession or your program. And the general courses are the courses you study because you are a student of the university. There are certain things you are required to know. So let's get into the departmental courses. The first one is human anatomy. So with human anatomy, it's basically about the external and internal features of the human body. So the internal features, you see we got the lungs, the intestines, the heart, the stomach, and a whole lot of them. The external features, you got your hands, your mouth, your ears, your nose, your leg, and all of that. Human physiology. Physiology is basically, basically about the functions of the features that you learn in human anatomy. So everything that you learn, the whole human body, the internal and the external features, whatever they do or the actions they perform in the body is what you learn. Next is biochemistry. Biochemistry is basically biology and chemistry combined. So the chemistry of life, everything chemistry that is related to life is what you learn here. So you got amino acids, you learn about the metabolic pathways, that is glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, Krebs cycle, pentose phosphate pathway, and a whole lot. Next is basic nursing. So basic nursing is where, as a physician or a physician assistant, be you a nursing student or a medical student, you learn about the clinical skills like taking vital signs and a whole lot. So these vital signs include temperature, be it in degrees Celsius, or and then you got blood pressure, you got pulse, you got respiration. You need to know how to count respiratory rate and you need to know how to administer medications, how to calculate medications and all that. Next is medical sociology. So sociology is basically about the social aspect of medicine. You see, you'll be working in a community as a physician assistant or an MD or a nursing student where the people in the community got a different culture from yours. So how do you relate with these people? Your communication, your actions towards these people. That's what medical sociology is about. Next, we got the general courses. So as I said, the general courses you study because you are a student of the university. The first one is communication skills. Anything about communication, your concord, how you form your sentences, your choice of words, and all that. Second is African studies. So African studies, you learn about African cultures, the history of Africa, and all that. Next, we got information technology skills. You see, we are in the 21st century. You don't want a situation where you come out of the university and you don't know anything about a computer. You can't survive in this era. So you need to know something, I mean, the basic knowledge of the computer. That's very important thing is for you to like this video, share with your friends, and then lastly, you subscribe to this channel so you can get more updates.